Good morning, friends! I didn't even realize my ad was done, I'm sorry. I was uh, preoccupied with um, checking what came in in one of my orders. I ordered a bunch of stuff from one of my suppliers, like jewelry findings and stuff. And work is butts busy, so lurking. Have fun streaming. You too, agent! Bye! I'm sorry you have to work! Um, and I'm really confused by some of the things that came in, so, because I ordered... These in silver and gold, and I, well, I don't have that. I don't have that camera on. Hey. I ordered these in both silver and gold, and I only got silver. And and I got screws. I did not order screws, so I'm very confused by these. <laughs> um, and so I was trying to go through the order to see what had come and what had been missed. 
and uh, I'm gonna have to go through it because there's like uh, it was a huge order and some of it came some things and some of it came other like it all comes separate. But I know, right? Like I don't even I don't even know. But look, look what I have. I have golden pom poms. They are actually quite big, which is beautiful. So should we ever? Uh, beat the odds and get a golden kappa hype train. <laughs> we are prepared. <laughs> I also found these really cute little star beads. And, like, these are super cute. They kind of look like Conpedo. Like the little Sit Sprite candies that they eat. Um, they're clearly not, but they were very cute. And... I'm very excited. They're like bitties! I know, right? So they're really cute, and I couldn't not get them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, and I may still order more because they are super duper cute, and I suspect that little Hunter may steal some. And then there was a bunch of other stuff that is far less interesting because it's all just like jewelry findings and beading needles and stuff like that. But <laughs> those, those are the cool and exciting things and the weird things that happened and why I forgot to come to stream right away when I did because I was uh, attempting to uh, figure this out. <laughs> so, I guess, I guess we'll figure that out. Yeah, I'm really excited about, about being prepared. This is, this makes me happy. I said something about it and Stu was like, oh my god, I need to think about that. Or no, maybe it was Agent. Oh my god, I need to think about that. And like, well, I, I, depends on whether you do things for hype trains or not, I guess, right? Um, because I actually do something for hype trains, I felt like I needed to be prepared. If you don't, like, do a specific activity or anything for a hype train, then, I mean, you don't necessarily need to show it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so. <laughs> you are quite, uh, quite, quite energetic this morning, aren't you, Empress? <laughs> Alright. We are going to take advantage of the fact that it is quiet right now. And we are going to, um, get some soot sprites done while we can because we have eight to do and I would still really like to actually get to doing um, you know the thing I got an extra 90 minutes of sleep last night and the restless legs are kicking in yes yes that is exciting I am so glad my dad had to take stuff for uh, red, rest, restless leg syndrome for a while, and it didn't work for him. He still has trouble with it, so I am so glad that it works for you. That is very exciting. All right. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with our... So it's right. So we have anybody who wants to make a specific one? Or are we just going to start uh, pulling from the list and winging it? Ooh, let me get my clay towards me. And let me move these off my desk so I have room to put said clay. I want to leave those out because those I have to still decipher. Okay. Bring. Alright, well. These are going here and hopefully the cat doesn't knock them over. All right. Coolio. 72 in a taco. I like it. Sounds beautiful. Or do you want pick one of these, Day of the Dead or Taco? Yeah, we're going to go with Taco. I saw that one first, but it also seems to be the most entertaining. So we're going to do a slit sprite in a taco. So I need some, like, yellowish tan colors to make a taco. I think this is what we made our taco cats out of, so that seems, seems like a pretty good color to use right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna need like a little green for like lettuce. All right? So it looks like it's got some toppings on it. Sounds good. 
We are Mexican themed. All right. Well, I don't know about whole theme. Well, I guess in between the two of them, Day of the Dead, Mexican themed. I'm not sure what I would do exactly for Day of the Dead. I would probably take. I would probably actually do a little bit of paint on it to make it look Day of the Dead skull like, which would be fun. I mean, it's something different I've never really done on a soot spray before. So we might still do that one today, just because I mean it could be creatively really fun. So. And when we don't have a bajillion to do, I mean, eight is a lot, but it's not a bajillion. And when we don't have a bajillion to do, I mean, it's, uh, it'll be interesting. So, all right, let's start with, oh, I need white too, don't I? Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's put eyes on this one. I had a couple of the blanks made already from when we were, I was just futzing around on Monday. Also, as a reminder, that, um, brain, Friday, right, as a reminder, on Friday, I will not be streaming at my regular stream time, or I'm not streaming at all, I'm working, uh, for the city for the day at the local Easter egg event, so I get to pretty much spend my day crossing individuals at, uh, Easter egg hunt events, so... <laughs> Pardon me. Um, for a couple of hours. So, because I have to be there at like 9.30 um, for my shift that's supposed to be from 10 till 2. And the event itself is from like 11 till 1, I want to say. So, I'm assuming I'm going to get sent home early because there's no way that they're still going to need us an hour after the event. But... That's okay. It works out really nice because um, Steve and I, my, my work partner and I get along really well. So we always ask to work together when we um, are working um, offsite events and stuff like that. Like when we do this, because we do this on Canada Day too, we usually work the big event. And, which is always helpful because it's a holiday and it's right before Christmas vac or winter or summer vacation. So having a little bit of last minute funds in the bank account for working the holiday always helps. <laughs> All right. Let's get, I need to adjust this camera because that is far too far in today. We're not going to stay there, are we? No. Okay. All right, I don't think this is going to work the way I want. It's gonna to have to stay farther in than I'd like. Okay, I'll have to readjust the whole mount again later. Black paint, that's what I was looking for. I'm trying not to be totally discombobulated this morning, but apparently I am. So there's the base sooty who's going to live in our, our taco. Um, I should probably get out a round cutter for this. Which I'm going to do. Um, yes. That one's too big. That one's too small. Do I have one in between the two? That should do. And if not, I may have to go up a size, but we'll see what I can do. That, no, that's even smaller than that one. So that one will do. But I have like all of those. So somewhere I should find the right size circle cutter for this. All right. And I want some chalk pastels because I'm going to want to accent. Oh no. Hold on. I just knocked over all of my shimmers. Alright, 
Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to fish those all out later. They all fell behind a shelf. Whoops. <laughs> all right. What else is new? Kiki's making a mess. All right. Tacos. Taco cities. <laughs> Changing pants of the stream. Kiki cleans. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. I did do that on stream once. I'm like, I don't really have a project I feel like doing today. We're going to have, like, an I'm cleaning stream. And it's housekeeping today, fam. Strubble! Hello, my friend! Strubble! Okay, now that you're here, I'm going to show you, give you a close-up of the orchid. Like I promised I would. All right. Let's put us right side up. There we go. There's our little orchid sit sprite. <laughs> Beautiful! making a mess, Drubal. I uh, just knocked a bunch of stuff behind my shelf and I am going to have no choice but to like pull out the whole thing afterwards to clean up all the stuff that fell. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'ma have lunch. Ooh, enjoy your lunch, Drubal. this size first. I think this might be too big, but we'll see what works. I was shirking my responsibilities. Look, see, I can't even say it. Um, earlier and decided to sort my books instead. Go throobs. Yes. Executive dysfunction for the win. <laughs> All right. Um, is this, yeah, I feel like that is about appropriately taco sized. I like it. Okay. So we'll use this. I'm going to put some texture down on it and then I'm going to put some, um, chalk pastel on it because I can't word apparently. All right. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to roll it out. And then texture it and then cut it because that makes sense instead of continuing to distort it as I put texture on it. Planning is not my strong suit. It really isn't. The funny thing is, is that it can be like if I'm like planning an event or a meal or like a large meal or a vacation or something, I am super organized. I get into lists and I am like on it. Something like this, like when it comes to like creative art and projects like planning, nope, please don't make me plan. That's not how my brain arts. Although I am trying to change that. I have some projects upcoming that I am doing some planning for. But where I have to actually, like, sketch it out and rough it out and kind of figure out a few things. So, oddly relatable. Yeah, like, hmm, any neurodivergent artist that probably relates. So... <laughs> um, and then I also want to add... A little bit of texture with like, where are my, these guys, yes. 
just to deepen some of the texture points. dust this with some chalk pastels to give it a nice dimensional look. And I'm going to use a really, really light dusting of like a darker brown and like um, I'm going to do like an all over of like a uh, burnt umber kind of thing, like a terracotta y color. And then I'll just use a darker spot for just some accenting to like give it that whole like cornmeal look in it. Why yes, you can flick chalk and make it work. All right, I like it. It's got a little bit of depth and texture, but not a significant amount. All right, there is our taco base for our sooty in a taco. to dust a little bit. Where did my paintbrush go? Just dust the inside a little bit with the same color. I'm not going to worry about texturing it, but you'll be able to see the color a little bit, so I think that that'll also help hide that we didn't texture it, you know? Because we be taking shortcuts, yo. course we have to remove cat hair from them because it's not a project if there isn't cat hair in it in this house. <laughs> I had to kick a marshmallow off my desk this morning. She like immediately, like I walked into my studio. She was already here waiting for me. Oh, we can do a cat cam today. She's right there. Um, hold up. Do, 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 do. That's right, camera. Why are we not working? Dear camera, why are we not working? Hold on. You are not on. Did you get unplugged? Hold on. This camera may have gotten unplugged. not know why that is not working that is concerning <laughs> yeah I know it's out of frame oh I'm out of frame now too how am I out of frame oh that camera must have came on wow now I've broken everything Good job, Kiki. Good job. Hold on. 
This one I should be able to fix. There we go. Okay, that one at least. <laughs> now why is the other one not working? There we go. There. It's my fault, my internet went out, and then when they came back, chaos here. There we go, yeah, all my fault. Enjoy! See you later, troops! Okay. That's what I get for trying to show you my cat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What are you doing? <laughs> I acknowledged her presence, and now she's like, no, I was baby, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, you're coming up, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Excuse me while I make room for my cat, who immediately decided that cat cam wasn't acceptable and was going to come up and get in my face. I think she's, like, patiently waiting for me to make room for her at the moment. Yeah? Are you, you're coming up, aren't you? Come on. There we go. Hi, Marshmallow. Look, it's every angle of cat that you could have ever asked for. <laughs> and even some you didn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hi, Marshmallow. You were already licking my head today as I was trying to get started for stream. I'm going to move this paint because you will sit in it. Hi. Yes. Let's not sit on the clay. We are at a pet store, and they had an anti-lick gel that was intended for use on, like, power cords, but I suggested it was used for a hair gel. No, no hair gel. Hi. Yes, where, what are you doing? Where, what are you trying to do? Where are you trying to go, cat? Welcome, everyone. It's our Mellow Moment with Marshmallow. Oh, I should make a scene for Mellow Moments with Marshmallow. That's what I need to do. I need, where's my notebook? Where is my notebook? There's my notebook. Okay. Homework. Mellow moments with marshmallow. Yes. Yes, it's a notebook. Meow. 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 Hi. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not. Side effect of Russ's leg meds. Vivid dreaming. Oh, I... Yeah, that's weird. And it's weird. You had a dream about me last night. Oh, that's what the dream was. Was at the pet store and it was... An, okay. That is kind of weird. That is kind of weird. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Homework. Uh, Jules, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, I've also am slowly starting to figure out how to um, do OBS triggers in Triggerfire so that I'm going to let my VIPs do silly things like change camera angles and stuff, but I have to figure out exactly how to do that and like what will work for what. Enjoy your work, Lert, Kempris. It looks like you're not going to be missing much today. Because it's marshmallow time. Hi. I need you to um, perhaps not hang out for a long time because I got a lot of work to do. I am, I am so behind. I still have not started building my armature that I was supposed to build on Monday. Because of the chaos. So you're going to be good and you're going to let me work, right? Nip. No, you're going to bite. Hey, lurk a bit and definitely realize that unfolds. Hey, no problem. Well, thank you for lurking. I appreciate that. Thank you for popping in, saying hi, and following. You're welcome to return to your lurk if you wish. <laughs> hi. Hello. 
Okay. Okay. The flu looks like I need a word need to work excuse. Yeah. They do they do not. They do not. I know. Yes, I know. Okay. Are you gonna go? Okay, we're gonna have just a little bit more. We'll give you a little bit more smooshies. Ow! Excuse you! <laughs> excuse you, what was that for? What was that for? So like, don't pet me that way. Oh, are you gonna go up into the window now? You just came up here, deposited your cat hair everywhere? No, not done yet? Okay, we'll have one more minute. No. Is the shoulder the new place to lick instead of the side of my head? Yeah. Okay. Can we be done now? I'd like to get to work. We had our moment. Mine are only about 10 to 15 times that size, though. <laughs> You've got poppers. Okay. All right. Off we go now. Off we go. Good kitty. Are you going to go right back into your chair? Because I will just put this back over here if that's what you're going to do. <laughs> Cat hair. Kitty glitter. <laughs> All right. New fees and a burner. Yeah, those are some pretty dog, pretty big doggos. Okay. Thank you, Marshmallow, for returning to the appropriate cat viewing chair. Um, all right. Sooty and a taco. Pretty big doggos. I love dogs. I am an animal person in general, but we are definitely more cat people family around here. We have a very high energy child and that's enough high energy for me. <laughs> that That's enough for me right now, yeah. All right, so we are just peeking out of this taco. So now we just need some like lettuce and stuff to put in here. just gonna kind of lengthen this out so we can get some tones in this lettuce so it's not just all one green because that would look boring I have couch potatoes. Yeah, big dogs tend to be couch potatoes, don't they? <laughs> I love them. They're big old sweeties. I would, if I had the space in my life, I would definitely have big dogs. Cute idea for the soot spray. Thank you. We do enjoy our soot sprays a lot. They are uh, overwhelming at present. <laughs> Um, I finally got caught up making soot sprites for my birthday, but I haven't, what I usually do is I take pictures of them and then they become available to be, uh, stickers that we put up on the display and the editing process is a little time consuming and I am just way behind on that right now, but, uh, but I love making them. 
they're a lot of fun. They're a really fun exercise in um, visual shorthand. Like, how do you make something look like something and still look like something else and be, you know, recognizable? And it's really a fun exercise. I really enjoy it. It helps me get creative juices flowing a lot. And I remembered the term. I always forget the term creative shorthand. I've actually got, like, uh, I forgot command um, because I never remember what it is. <laughs> So in case I forget the word, we've got a command to remind me what the phrase is. <laughs> because I have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> All right, so we've got a generous serving of lettuce. In our taco. Oh, that's too much. Sounds like the note sheet I keep next to me. Yes, exactly, right? Empress has exactly that. She's got like a, a sheet that she keeps with her to remember. <laughs> That's the command, to remember all of the commands. <laughs> I remembered it, Empress. I remembered it. Sometimes I have good brain days and I remember things. Other times, not so much. <laughs> All right, let's put a little bit of like tomatoes. Seems pretty good. There is our city in a taco. All right. So, and then this one can be our Day of the Dead city. So I need to pull up a picture of a. Uh, are they referred to as sugar skulls? I thought that that's what they were called. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. I got some reference photos up. I think I can work with this. So let's put our eyes down. And then I will pull out a couple of colors of clay that I can use to do decorating and stuff like that with because I feel like that that's gonna be my best way to make it look remotely right like use like a dotting tool kind of thing gonna put all oh, right I put the paint away all right and okay 
so now I need to get out various dotting tools because I'm probably going to need a couple sizes for this. Got those out. And then we need some paints. I'm gonna use some of my less expensive acrylics for this, mostly because I have more of a variety of colors than I do. Um, like I would use like my good ones, but I have fewer colors. I'd have to actually be mixing colors to do that, which is cool if I'm doing a bigger project. But for something like this, I just want it. To move along right okay so we need like a vibrant purple and like a vibrant pink so here I've got like um violet color like a cerulean it's a proper violet very bright yellow and maybe like an orange no no I definitely want like a pink not sure that that's the pink I'm gonna want but let's I'm gonna use this purple because it's got a little bit of a lighter tone in it. That one's gonna be, would have been really dark in contrast. I also don't think the lab colors on these labels are totally accurate. But a lot of this paint I haven't opened yet, so. I don't need much of any one color of paint because clearly it's going to be small. very almost magenta-ish uh, pink, which is good. That's what I wanted. And I'm going to put a little bit of this, the cerulean blue. I may not use it, but our Day of the Dead skull. Sits right. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Alright. So I suppose he needs teeth, which I should probably indicate somehow. Huh. Here's a good question. white teeth, but I think I might be, have you considered with a drawn Dawn of the Dead soot? Um, like Dawn of the Dead as in like zombie movies, or am I missing something? Because if there is something related under the phrase of Dawn of the Dead, I don't know. I only know the phrase Dawn of the Dead as in zombie movies. <laughs> and 
we don't actually have a zombie soot sprite, so <laughs> that is something that could be done in at some point. It was upon a bad one at that. Star with uh Star with the Dawn uh Dawn of the Dead and work your way up to day that it Fair enough, yeah, right? But I mean, hey, that that, that could be <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh. Seasonal allergies plus marshmallow allergies equals a stuffy kiki. I may have to take a break momentarily. I guess we're pretty close to 11 Z's. In 11 Z's, I'm going to have to go and take an allergy pill. My allergies are really starting to bug me this morning after uh, our mellow moment with marshmallow. One moment, please. Uh, yeah, my Caesar allergies suck, man. Um, and my dust allergies, like, anytime I have to do something, like, do major cleaning in the house, I have to, like, wear a mask because I end up just in, like, discomfort all day and I can't even breathe with, like, how bad my dust allergies get sometimes. Like, if I get stir up too much dust cleaning um i'll end up having like a reaction where um it's almost like an asthmatic reaction i don't have asthma and this is really the only circumstance that it happens in so i don't uh i've never gone to like look into whether or not i i have an asthmatic problem but um yeah every time i uh, like do any heavy duty cleaning I have to worry about whether or not I'm going to be able to breathe later <laughs> it is definitely one of the reasons my house is not as clean as it could be I mean, my house isn't that bad but it's not as clean as it could be and that is one of the reasons that you know being an adult with a life
I'm really hoping this guy does not come out totally terrible and terrifying when I'm done. But uh, you never know. Things with teeth don't always turn out right. <laughs> I think that this is probably enough teeth at this point anymore. I'm going to really start making it look creepy. So now, let's try making something Day of the Dead like. I got some purple paint on that and I'm gonna have to take it off after but we'll see what we can do. definitely getting some on the eye. I'll have to paint, use white paint to cover it up later because it's just otherwise going to get in the way. That purple paint is really dark compared on the black though. So I think I'm just going to add in a little bit of the light purple. Lighten it up. I'm gonna redo this pink because I think I can make the pink stand out better.
is not turning out quite as well as I'd hoped, but there's only so much you can do when you are not particularly good at it. <laughs> or particularly knowledgeable, nor... and it's also very tiny, right? I'm gonna leave it at that. It did not come out quite as well as I'd hoped, but it is what it is. Maybe if I get some more yellow in. Alright, well that's something. <laughs> Would a zombie suit be called a zombie or a zoot? I don't know. That is a very good question. I think a zombie is a little bit more like, yeah, well that makes sense, that's the right word kind of thing, but I don't know. Because a zoot sound, to me sounds like we're about to have a zoot suit riot. Riot! Throwback bottle of beer! I have a friend who actually has a zoot suit, and it is, like, the coolest, weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so we just touched that up in white, so... Covered up the paint that we had missed before. A Zoot Suit Riot, oh yeah, um, it's a, Zoot Suit Riot is a song by a, I want to call them a swing band, they're not, I think they're, what do you call them? Hold on, the song is called Zoot Suit Riot. Um... Now, apparently things I didn't know, because I'm not particularly one who pays attention to history, Zoot Suit Riots were actually a thing, historically. But, um, yeah, I'm specifically referencing um, a song. <laughs> By, who are they, Cherry, Cherry Pop? Cherry Pop and Daddies is the... <laughs> there we go, that's, that's what I'm specifically referencing, but... Alright. But, as, yeah, I know very little about history, I did not realize that there was a thing called the Zoot Suit Riots. There we go, yes, the Dairy Cherry Pop and Daddies. Right. Okay, alright, so we've done two. What? Okay. We are also going into our ad, so we're going to have 11 Zs. Um, I'm going to go make a cup of tea and go to the bathroom. I want everybody else to take care of themselves. Take a break. Look away from your screens. Take your meds. Drink some water. We'll be back shortly, friends.
All right, fam, we are back. Okay. So it looks like we're at the pace I'm going on these soot sprites today. We are almost definitely not getting to making armature. <laughs> so we'll have to worry about that one on Monday. Oh, okay. All right. So, oh, yes, I need to update the soot sprite list. Okay, hold on. So... Imagine a streamer not able to complete their plans. I know. I got a little goblin lately. <laughs> you were a little, a little, uh, a little chaotic. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. So, hold on. What number are you? 72. Okay. Okay, and then we need uh, Day of the Dead. Chad is innocent, innocent as you are never innocent, Agent. Ever. We like it that way. <laughs> but you're never innocent. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, Day of the Dead, right? Right, okay. All right. Two down, six to go. All right. What you gonna do next? 
with facial tissue. All right. Uh, <laughs> I might never be innocent nor am I, I, but Chad is innocent. Okay, fair. That is a correct statement. <laughs> Oh, uh, Razor, how you doing today? <laughs> Two down, six to go, narrator is four now. Okay. Shh. Don't tempt them. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so amended. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, all right. So I am making one with facial tissue. Okay, I need the black. I did not actually get the black today. The day is just starting, so it's overcast with the sun speaking, peeking through. Well, that's not a bad day. It's thankfully kind of nice here today, too. Um, like, it was raining early this morning and, like, all last night. So it, the, but it was, like, a, a nice-ish temperature. It was, like, seven-ish degrees this morning. So it had that, like, nice, not cold, just slightly crisp, um, dampness in the morning, and I, sometimes I really dig that feeling, um, and it was really nice this morning, I really enjoyed my morning shift in, in, in that weather, I mean, don't get me wrong, give me a nice sunny day, and I am happy as a clam at work, but, uh, some mornings, having an overcast, and, a, like, a nice, like, Irish cottage morning, and it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I think it's because I love moss so moss, much. Moss is one of, like, my favorite things in the world. So that, like, slightly damp kind of Irish countryside feel is something I dig a lot. All right. Um, so what are we doing on this one? Yes, with facial tissue. Okay, so let's put eyes on this sit spray. Now, here's the question. Are we just doing the facial tissue of it blowing its nose? Or are we going to give it, like, a box and, um, like, a box with the tissue sticking out of it? I can't remember who made the facial tissue suggestion to try to <laughs> track it down and ask, but that's the question we're asking right now. I feel like it would make more sense from a visual standpoint if we did, um, like the box with a fa like a box of facial tissues with the facial tissue sticking out. I feel like that that's where we should be heading with this. And of course, sealing me put all of my dotting tools back, and I still need those for eyes. All right. They're slightly googly eyed, and that's great. I love it when that kind of thing happens. Um. So I feel like this light blue is like what that, like the color that that, like those little square tissue boxes are. It feels right. And I want to like put some white through it, twist it so it kind of looks like it's like that marbly cloudy look. Let's make it look like a tissue box, right? comes in with a warm fuzzy as they are prone to do that's their their jam for razor today you're a delightful human to find present in various rooms across this this corner of twitch and i'm always glad to see you and today is no different kim you beautiful human soul i adore you 
thank you for always coming in and warming up the place. Oh, you're okay. You are all um, you are. <laughs> no, you. Yes, Kim, you are an amazing human too. Thank you so very much. That does give me a warm, fuzzy start to my day. That is excellent. I'm glad. I like this so far. You definitely get like that vaguely cloudy uh, look in this tissue box. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna plop that right on there. I'm gonna try and make this a little thinner though. and square it back up. I've got a little squished. Hilariously, the top story on the Weather Network is about how chocolate prices have tripled. Like, motherfucker, so has literally everything. It's true. It is true. Everything has tripled, at least. I I don't know how uh, most of us survive these days. Like, if I had to rent a home, I would not have the money for it. I would not be doing this, like... No, not my pay. My pay has not moved, right? Yeah, exactly. The only reason I am lucky enough to not have to work full time is because I own my home and we bought it before the market like totally super duper exploded. Kiki, this is my life right now. I want to move, but rents are scary. Like, it's it's impossible. I don't know how most people do it. Like, I really don't. I can barely do it. And I own my home. My mortgage is less than most people's rent is in a month. Like, by, like, half. <laughs> I don't know how most people live. And, like, that's terrifying. That is, there is something seriously wrong with our economy and society when that is where we're at. I have feelings about the decision to sell our home before the world went pandemic shit. Yeah, I can imagine, right? But sometimes you need to do what you gotta do to do whatever you need to do in life. And sometimes those situations are unfortunate, but they were necessary, right? Alright, so there, I really like this. This actually turned out pretty good. Our, our stood sprite with a box of facial tissue. <laughs> uh, yeah, so true. Things will work out. Maybe the market will crash, or maybe we'll all revolt. I hope we all revolt. If, if I ever win the lottery... Um, I will let you know, Kim, because my plan is to, like, buy a large several acres of land in, like, northern Ontario and just be like, 
hey guys, we're going to build a small home community and we're going to do like have our own little gardens and we're going to do like artisan things together and like that's it. That's what we're going to do and we're going to actually have our own little community. We can still have our own lives and our own jobs. I go I plan on doing it like co-op style. <laughs> That is my dream in life. That will probably never happen, but that is my dream in life. I get paid nicely for a single guy, which helps, and my landlord hasn't upped my rent since before COVID. Whoa, that's impressive. Uh, not that it is cheap, but it is but it is for this area, and I'm trying to get an RV and become mobile. Oh, that's fun. If I was a single human, I would definitely live a much more transient mobile lifestyle. Like, I would go pick up and live in some small community somewhere. Um, but that's clearly not the life I'm living right now, so, um, grow our own food and share resources, right? And, like, it's gonna be a whole bunch of creatives, because those are all the people that I know that want to be, live that kind of life, so we'll all have, like, a whole creative, like, makers and crafters organization where we can pool our resources and, like, maybe even start, like, a market. Like, this is my dream, folks. <laughs> As a freelancer, I'm always trying to work out if I shouldn't or shouldn't raise my prices. Yeah, and that one's tough, right? Like, it's a, like where do you price yourself where you're getting the value you deserve, but also still encouraging growth and people to go with you? And it's a really tough balance. I mean, I do that just with my art and pricing my art. Like, how do you, you find the right balance? And it's tough. Yeah, I'm an independent yoga teacher and have the power to increase my one-on-one -on -one prices, but the studios are a bit of a pyramid scheme. Yeah, I can believe it. I can believe it. I mean, I don't know how those systems work, but I can believe it. All right. So, okay, so we have with Kleenex, what number was that? So I can get her off the list. 57, okay. All right. And we move on to Oppa. Oh, I've been dreading this one. I have no idea how to make this Oppa and still a soot sprite. So I guess, I give it horns, clearly. And the arrow on the head in like the beige tone. My problem of becoming a hobo always makes me think of the littlest hobo is that I have to have solid internet and um, haven't had mobile internet worth a damn until recently. Yeah, that is true, right? Um, but the good news is, is that more and more places are like more and more cell phone providers are doing like actually good quality data at, I mean, I won't say reasonable prices. Um, I don't know where you are exactly, Razor, but I mean, here in Canada, we have some of the most expensive um, cell phone rates in anywhere in the world. Like, it's ridiculous here um, for what we have to pay for cell phone and mobile internet services compared to most places. It is ridiculous. Okay, in California, I know the United States does have, they're not like super cheap, but they do have much more reasonable rates than, uh, than we do here. Awful. Indeed, mobile phone providers are great providing reasonable data at cutthroat prices, right? They, and they're not. Like, they're... N nothing is... Yeah, it, it, <sighs> Capitalism is the devil. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> just... Capitalism isn't necessarily the devil. There is room for a capitalist society in a socialist society that actually supports its people. Finding the right balance isn't easy, but it is possible. Nobody's gotten it right yet, but that's because people like money.
Yeah, I wonder how my bill is as high as it is. T-Mobile seems to be the most reasonable in the U.S. That sounds about right, because from what I understand, T-Mobile is kind of like the equivalent of one of our discount providers. Because uh, um, when I go roaming in the States, my discount provider, which is one that like piggybacks off the network of one of the big three providers, um, uses T-Mobile as my roaming par as my uh, provider's roaming partner. So that that makes sense. Once way back in the day, I actually knew a little something about various providers in the United States because I used to work for a cable internet and telephone billing company and we had just started to get into mobile phone service as well before I left that department. Um, so I had some knowledge of it. I mean, we didn't really do the mobile phone billing. It was a very specific company, but whatever. Um, and I then I transferred to a department that was doing a discounted mobile phone company here in Canada, uh, which is no longer exists. They sold themselves off and got eaten into somebody else, which we knew what was going to happen. <laughs> so... All right. I have four lines and my internet on my cell bill. Wow. That's not bad. Like, yeah, like, I'm terrified of when I have to get little Hunter a cell phone, and it's coming in the next couple of years. They're nine, and they're getting to the age where their friends are starting to have them. And, I mean, we're not going just yet, but, I mean, they're going to get to the age soon where, like, they're leaving the house and going out to friends' houses. And that's what I'm going to want them to have a phone. But, like, that's going to be, like, an extra, like, 60 bucks a month, and it's ridiculous. Ugh. All right. It's also hard to come, like, family plans don't exist anymore in Canada for some reason. I don't get it. Being able to tether off your phone is a huge benefit when traveling. Absolutely. Like, we can use tethering. I have a fairly decent data plan, and we tether Little Hunter when we say, like, go out to play Pokemon Go, or if we're on a long car ride and they want to watch a couple videos while they we're on a long car ride or whatever. Um, so, I mean, we, we do that, and we can do that, but, I mean couldn't do it all the time. The data isn't that good. <laughs> Florida banning social media for until 14 and require parental consent for 15 and 16 year olds should just show how we really need to enforce retirement age on politicians. Yeah, that's not going to be what saves things, especially not in Florida. <laughs> yeah, but I am definitely, I definitely believe that we definitely need to, um, infuse politics with a, a rush of younger people and phase out many of the old white men. Yep. Now don't get me wrong, I really don't think kids should be on social media until closer to those ages anyways, but I mean banning it at like a state level is just a useless waste of government resources. <laughs> Uh, I can take my T-Mobile router and plug it in so I'm using my tethered bandwidth. Oh, cool. So I'm not using my tethered bandwidth. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I got sidetracked. What am I doing? We got start talking to Oppa. Right, we're doing Oppa. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn it upside down. So the eyes are lower because <laughs> I should have paid more attention to where I was going with this. Um, but that will give me room to put the arrow on his forehead. Right? Because, it's yeah, it's like a brownie tan. I'm looking at the op I sculpted back here <laughs> for reference instead of... <laughs> um, how are they going to enforce it? The data is in California, not Florida, right? Like, things are weird. So I actually need more, I need some gray to work with to get these colors more or less right on Oppo. 
because his horns are more of a dark gray. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Like, sometimes you just want to, like, live a much simpler lifestyle. I'm very much, like, a minimalist when it comes to, or at least I try to be a minimalist in terms of what's in my home. Because, like, too much stuff is driving me crazy. Um, and, I mean, part of that is my ADHD. I, I can't deal with clutter because it, it makes it hard for my brain to focus. It's too much stuff that my brain then has to filter out and it's too distracting, I guess. I don't know. Um, so part of me is really interested in like the RV lifestyle because it forces you to be minimalistic and simplistic in your life. But I know inevitably that would be really tough and to live like the art life that I want to live at the same time. So... Which is why I love this idea of, like, we're all just going to up and move to northern Ontario um, and have our little community, and <laughs> it's going to be awesome, right? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's going to be really neat. That will be a fun life if you can get that pulled off, right? All right. So Appa's horns are actually a little twisty, right? And they... Not that big. Okay. Um, right, and they kind of go back, right? That still did not look right. I've got these going wrong, don't I? Hold on. I need to actually look at a picture now. I'm trying, my brain is getting all flipped around trying to figure out how his horns go. And I should probably put the arrow on his head first because I'm so going to end up knocking them. I have two friends who both are living in a property together but separately and we call it like lake life like cheesy decor ever during cottage season yeah like I totally want to live like just a community of like tiny houses or at least small scale houses right we all pool our resources we all like not totally um, You know, not a total co commune life, but definitely a lot more community-based than what I've got going on now. <laughs> That's my dream. Okay, so... Alright. Let's be a little smaller, not by a ton, but a little. And then if this is my center line... We can build earth ships. Ooh, I think I would very much be into uh, the community thing once I have a place to retreat. Yeah, as long as I have a place to retreat. That's exactly it, right? Like, it's still going to be everybody lives on their own in, you know, smaller homes. And we have, like, maybe, a, like, a big community space where we can all hang out if we choose to. But we'd still all have our own spaces. Doing a stream once if you actually or may YouTube video it. Yeah. Going to stream some if I eventually. Oh, that'd be cool. Also, yes, to your ships. 
it's all about having your own space. It's the only way. These two friends of mine both live alone. So we're all very into solitude and each other. Exactly, right? Like, um, I have a friend who's like, has the similar, like, has a similar plan in their retirement life. Like, they want to do, like, buying property in Northern Ontario and, um, like, living there in a small community, but they want to do it much more commune style. They're like, you know, like, I, you know, people will, you know, just pool literally everything. And I'm like, you can't really do that because people are still going to want to live their own lives and have their own things. Um... and you can't take that away which is kind of why I'm like this is gonna be a much more co-op style where we pool our resources to a certain extent but we're still separate individuals living here <laughs> uh, but yeah we need to bring back the village absolutely I wholeheartedly agree if you're around after I'll be back but for now the brain needs me to go do some yoga I also need to do some yoga but my shoulder has been screwy the last couple of days and I've not been able to do it. I woke up like with a horrible kink in my shoulder and I'd taken a few days off because I was dealing with some stuff, whatever. I hadn't been feeling great. So I'd taken a couple of days off and then I started to feel better, but then my shoulder kinked up and I'm like, I don't think I could even support myself with the way it's kinked right now. Like, so I'm like, I just want to do yoga and I can't. Gonna work on the sticker sheets. Ooh, yeah. Fed, as fed and caffeinated stroops. Excellent. That is the way to be. Um, we're just going to kind of straight up cow horn this because I think if I try too hard to get it bendy shaped, it's going to end up looking weird. Um, I think I need a little liquid sculpey to get these on too because it is not really cooperating with me right now. Has feet. I has feet. Welcome back, Empress. There we go. That, that is an oppa. I would say that that is oppa. Or as oppa as a soot sprite can get. That was number one, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was like literally number one on the list. Excuse me. Yep. Yep. Oppa was number one. Because oppa has been on that list for a while. All right. All right, so that's four of eight. We're halfway done, which is appropriate because we are now halfway done the stream. Yeah, we are. Excellent. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, with an Easter basket. Oh, number one is now with the Easter basket. Fair enough. You know what? I'd say now's a good time to do that one. Appropriate. We'll just take number one from the list right now, right?
I had the zoomies. Oh yeah, I guess I am. So that's the problem is like my camera, I couldn't get my camera to adjust back today without having to like literally adjust the whole frame to our whole camera today, like the whole mount. And so I keep naturally sitting back here. This is where I work, but my camera angle, I can't move closer to me today for some reason. Alright. So we're going to do a sooty with an Easter basket. Squish this eye, and we can fix it up a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad. I, I was not super happy with how it turned out, so I'm glad that others like it. I am particularly fond of the sooty and a taco, <laughs> and I really like how the Kleenex turned out. Like, I feel like the Kleenex box turned out really good. So. <laughs> Alright, let's make an Easter basket. I've got this nice tan color that we can use for the Easter basket. With a, yeah, we, an elephant. I guess we don't have an elephant city, do we? All right. bit of a basket weave texture on it. And this is going to be the weave along the top. Do it again. I got too spun too tight in the middle.
right, and that goes right along there. Then we'll put some little Easter eggs in. Sculpey, help it stick to our basket. Try to make this one kind of flattish so I can put it behind the others. We'll get like more of a 3D look to it that way, I think. Right? Okay, and then we need a little handle. Clearly going to be too long, but at least. It'll be really oh, hi, Tatter! Welcome in! Hello! I have Friday off and I'm already so done with work this week. Hello! Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry. I looked away for a second and came out. Boom! There be eggs! There are eggs! Eggs come together pretty quickly, thankfully. <laughs> Alright, let's shorten that a little bit. This is definitely too much basket. Still too much basket, okay. Too much basket handle. That's a little big, but still all right. All right, there is our little itty bitty Easter basket. I've been missing your streams because I've been not so much morning person lately. That is okay. You know what? I missed my own streams all last week. <laughs> I took a break from streaming last week um, just to give myself a little mental health break, and it was lovely, so don't worry about it. We all need breaks sometimes. 
I tried very hard while I was taking my stream break to also let myself uh, break from like being around other streams too, like because I just needed a break from all of it. And it worked out. It was really lovely. It, I felt wonderful for having my week off. And by the end of it, I was like, I can't wait to go back and stream again. So, like, it really did exactly what I needed it to do. And uh, it was great. So, all right. So we're at five of eight so far today. All right. Woo, land, yeah. Why are we not reporting it, Nightbot? Nightbot, why are we not reporting our lands? Okay, why are we... We should be okay here. Whee! Oh, Tatter, what would you like to put up as a sticker? Ooh, a cactus. Okay, we can definitely do the cactus hoodie. Do, 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 do. There they are. So while I'm taught, while we're while we're in with the cities, question for you, VIPs: Would you like a button that turned this on periodically for a set amount of time? If you just had a command or a redeem that allowed that to happen, <laughs> like for a couple of minutes or something. These new ones are making are fantastic. Thank you. Now that I've um, been playing with. Uh, now that I'm like figure starting to figure out how I can actually do like OBS triggers, I'm like, what if <laughs> we could really just plaster the display? <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, with a cactus. Bam. If you could flash a couple of times, sure. Agent! We're getting so close! Please! <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Tatter, you sweet bean. And I'm so... <laughs> more sooties! Always more sooties, apparently. <laughs> Oh, you guys, thank you. Tatter, what would you like your soot spray to be? Or would you like to pick from the list? We'll do that one next. And back to Deep Lurk. I hate adult. Yeah, I get it. I agree. Enjoy the lurk. I agree, I hate adulting as well. I would spend so much more time in the studio watching Twitch streams and making art if I didn't have to adult. Between my other job, like my day job, and parenting and maintaining a home, I'm like, I don't want to do these things. I just want to do art and hang out on Twitch. Yeah, no more problem. <laughs> I'll work on a couple of blanks while Tatter decides. Maybe I should, actually, you know what I should probably do? I probably should do an alt command so that without the spaces does show up still. I can do that. I should be able to do that pretty quickly, right? Uh, now I'm going to do homework on that. Where's my notebook? I 
had you in today already. Where did my notebook go? commands with no spaces is on the to-do list. Okay. Spy, black spy versus spy. Okay, yeah, we can do that. That's sweet. Thank you. Absolutely, we can do that for agent. Um, I recommend doing with chopsticks and conductor today. Finishes off some sets you already have tan clay out. Ooh, I might. The conductor... Was that a music conductor or a train conductor? It probably was a music conductor. I'd have to have it wearing a white glove, right? That's going to be the thing that helps us know that, that it's a music baton. Is that what it's called? A baton? I don't think that that's what it's actually called for a, a conductor, but... Also, look at that sweet kitty! Yeah, she is! Yeah, she is. A baton. Okay. I should know that. I was in um, a, a school, I was in the school band. Like, I was, what's the word? Uh, can't even think of what the word is called when you're, when a band is actually called a... Um, wow. I word great. Girl, I forget the shit all that time, and I was a music major in college. <laughs> An ensemble. That was not the word I was thinking of, but that definitely works. Um, I, in my brain, I think of ensemble as like a smaller group. Um, orchestra. That's the word I'm thinking of. We had pretty we had pretty much a full orchestra in our band. We had a really large band. Um, when I was in high school, we had an amazing music teacher who really, really did a lot with the music program. It was nothing before he came. Attention, please. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we need more forgetful commands, right? All right, so let's, so we need a lot of white for this. I'm gonna, yeah, I should be okay. For the spy versus spy, I need to pull that up. I gotta go back to work Wednesdays or meeting days. No problem, Empress, have fun. Spy versus spy. Wanda time. Oh, yes. All the weird times with all. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen today. But forgotten about it. Let's watch the shenanigans go down. All right, cool beans. Let's make a spy versus spy hat. <laughs> yes, thank you. You guys are the sweetest. Um, Black spy versus spy. So it is still in the black hat. 
So here's the question. I guess they're both white faced and one is just, huh? Okay. I always thought that they were full opposite colors because they're white space. So I should probably do, hmm. So I think I'm gonna do the white hatted one for spy versus spy instead of the black one. Cause it's gonna be all black. Cause here I was thinking one wears white, one wears black. I thought the, I knew that one wear, one wore black and one wore white, but I thought the black one had a white face and the white one had a black face. Um, so that's, so I think what I'll do is I'll do black face city with the white spy versus spy hat. And that's probably going to be the best way to make it stand out. So yeah, so it'll be a white hat with the black band. Absolutely. Sometimes I have to remind myself that these are soot sprites dressed like spy versus spy. Um, like, oh, I can make it nose pointy and stuff like that, but I'm gonna remember it's still a soot sprite. <laughs> All right, lower down, cause we're getting a hat. Closer together and still in a little bit narrower, I think. So we can try to get a little bit of the characteristics of the character in it. Right? And they've also got like that narrowed eyed look. Right? isopropyl alcohol because it got a little smooshy and smeary. Also, just a heads up to my lurkers, there is an ad about to roll in just over, uh, just about a minute, so please be aware of that.
And I'm gonna try and do like a little crooked side smile. With just a little white outline. So I have to get this really thin to make this work. is as thin as I can get that. Come on, I gotta come off my tool. There we go. Little crooked smile. Little crooked side smile. And then white hat. Just slightly askew on the head, not totally on the top, but not too far off. And then we need a wide brim. And then we'll put the black band on it. You know what, I think I need to make this a little bit more triangular shaped to get it to sit properly.
wide enough. Okay. That is right, but too, like, I need it to be a little thinner. Never know what to do. Trying to keep the hat line crisp is a little tough, but you get the point. You know what, I think, given the size of the hat, I keep, I love the taco. I do. I love the taco. <laughs> um, I think we might just be able, like, given how big the hat is, it'll be a lot of black, oops, but we might just be able to do this again. I might just do this as another, um, 
I might just do the black hatted one as well so that they're paired together. I think it can make it work. Well, at least try it. Why not? big. Ribbon is too big. Let's, let's try and see what happens if we make black spy. Let's see if it's too much black. <laughs> You just a cute kitty over there, Marshmallow. I love it when I can't find the things that are hiding right in front of me. All right, and then, so we're gonna give this one the same crooked smile, but crooked on the other side.
that is too much head. Okay, hold on, I need to trim that down a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Why can I not find anything I need? Why is everything hiding in plain sight today? slightly to the other side. I'm going to move you out of my way a little bit, friend, because I don't want to mess up your hat while I'm working on your... We'll call him friend. And then we put our little yellow, our little white ribbon on it. Slightly thinner. Yes. All right, black one did not turn out quite as good as white one, but we have both black and white spy versus spy as soot sprites. both of them so we have a set I think that like is pretty fun okay so we did the spy versus spy what was that one hold on uh, 
74. You're at the office. I don't have my headphones, so I have you real low. No worries. Hi, Deb! I'm not going to yell the rest of the time, I promise. <laughs> See, each and I are on the same page, right? Gotta yell. <laughs> All right. Seven done, inconceivable. Yep, we have two more to do because we all had one more to get to. <laughs> so we have two more to do by the end of stream today. And we are clearly not getting to an Omu. <laughs> With brain. Okay. I like it. We will do with a brain. That sounds perfect. <laughs> that is the perfect response, Cola. Absolutely. Um, did you know that when I got married... Our officiant was actually a friend of ours, so he knew us really well, and we let him have fun with his speech. We didn't give him a lot of rules or anything that we wanted to say or anything else, so he was kind of like free to be creative and have a little fun with it, because we, we were definitely not having a stuffy traditional wedding, and it was video game themed and everything else. We were like, have fun with it. You know what? Have fun with how you do your speech kind of stuff. So he took his inspiration from the Princess Bride. Um, and we did not say I do. We said as I as you wish. It was lovely. And it was totally a surprise too. Like we did, had no idea what his plan was or anything else. So it was really cool. And so I have an even sp more special fondness for the Princess Bride. <laughs> I will forever use 42 until we don't have 42. Do you happen to have five fingers on one hand? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, we're doing with a brain. So we need eyes. And then we need pink. Guess what? 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 Anybody want a peanut? I do enjoy a good peanut. I also enjoy feeding peanuts to my squirrels and blue jays. I have 12 hours on this pay period and it's not over yet. Nice. That is excellent. I, uh, I am looking forward to having extra hours on this pay period as well to make up for the lack of hours on my last pay period, having missed pay for March break. And then also having, and also I don't get paid for, um, like the stat holidays. I mean, I get stat pay, but I, we work so few hours that stat pay for us works out to be like nothing. Um... But yeah, I will also get extra arrows as paycheck, and that is such a beautiful thing. Uh, so we have the Day of the Dead Sugar Skull in a taco with facial tissue, spy versus spy with an Easter basket, and oppa. And I need pink, right, because we're doing a break. Love it. Me too, Razor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn on my lights. Oops. Oh, well. It's too late. I'm not worrying about it now. I need to put, like, my pre-stream checklist. I have, like, a pre-stream checklist over here of the things that I have to check. I need to put 
So I'm going to get my homework book again. I have a, like, update pre-stream checklist to include <laughs> lights. Because, man, I forget my lights, like, all the time. Love Deb and Lock and Kim and Hunter. What even I know, right? There are too many things that I have to open and like have to run and stuff. Like, like I'm just gonna have a list. I would forget things all the time. All right, so we're gonna start with a teeny tiny little pink spot, and then I'm gonna try and put ridges on it. Is probably the best thing to do. I gotta give this brain some wrinkles. So first thing we need to do is we need to get in frame, for starters. <laughs> I did not do shouty outies today. No, I did not. hemispheres. Part of me thinks it might be easier to just pretend to do like lines and stuff as opposed to, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just wrinkle it this way. I think trying to do it with like strings is gonna be like way too much. This is not looking right, so maybe I'll try it anyways. All right. <laughs> you are so close. And I have the redeem all ready for you. The only offline work that I did yesterday uh, for stream was making sure that I had all the pop-ups ready for that. I'm like, I have not done that yet for that redeem. I need to make sure that things pop up because that's a big one. <laughs> things need to pop up. So I did that yesterday. So it is ready for you when you are, friend. <laughs>
come up, please. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna need way more of this than I realized I did, but this is gonna be the way to go. Uh, Spy Guy was talking about in his stream last night. He said, I'd probably riot if you changed it now, and I probably will. No, no, I'm not changing the points. I just made the pop-up have fun things that happen when it's popped up. So do you want me to shout out the friends? Sure, if you would like to shout out the friends, by all means. I was just totally not thinking about it today. <laughs> This is definitely a sh I'm doing a focus moment, so if I don't check notice chat right away, my apologies. It's just tiny fidgety work tends to make me focus real hard. And then I miss stuff. <laughs> Why are we writing? <laughs> Um, if I change the requirements for the, um, resident city, <laughs> when Deb is almost at it. making progress on this brain. <laughs> Deb gets everybody. There is no escaping Deb's loving shout outs. <laughs> because I'm going to cut down the back of it a little bit to make it sit flat. So I just need to like do the top part of this back hemisphere, I think. Oh, thanks for flicking a bit at me, chess cat. Cat rent. <laughs> yeah, 
has the gap fees. There are no fees, no rents, but thank you for the bits. And yeah, we've got Sleepy Cat Cam Marshmallow today. One of the things on my homework list is to make a um, mellow moment with marshmallow scene that I can pop up whenever she just comes and takes over a stream with uh, putting her face in my face. All right, and then yeah, I need to hemisphere this better. Okay, and then I gotta cut down the back. And we're gonna put a little liquid Sculpey on. And there is our sooty with a brain. Alrighty, and then we have one more to go. <laughs> I think you've got everybody. Because you're just like, hey, you're lurking. Shout out. Like... <laughs> was 42. I should have known better. Okay. Um, and then we have one more to do today and we are all caught up. And then we are going to stay caught up so I can actually work on sculpture next week. <laughs> anybody wish to do the there we go excellent that's exactly what I was gonna ask for so we will do a waffle Deb's way ahead of me today not unusual Deb is often way ahead of me <laughs> So let's put some eyes on this city. They're going to be big eyes because this city is like mm, waffle. Uh, way ahead of me. It's not unusual that you're way ahead of me because I am sometimes so very oblivious and you're right on top of it. Alright, we are slightly derpy eyed. That is okay. We are excited about our um, impending waffle. You are good bad. You are good bad mod. I read your my bad and my brain shoved that in there. You are a good mod. Do not sell yourself short. You are great mod. Okay, so we need a waffle. So we're going to start with this like tan colored. And we are going to like derpy eyed is okay. They are excited about exactly right. Yeah. My 
my thoughts exactly. All right, and then I need to be able to put little squares in here. Do I have anything that is tiny and square shaped that I can use to make the indentations? here that I can use. Not that is small enough anyways. I used to have some really tall uh, small squares because I used them when I used to make um, my TARDIS. small and square. I, mean, I think I'm just going to have to wing it with an indentation tool and make it work. Hold on, wait, wait. oh I miss missed. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a good mod? Yes. <laughs> I'm a mod of a different corner of Twitch, yes. <laughs> Um, the thing they use, the hot air balloon baskets. Um. You mean like this? I suppose I could, but it's not really square. Um, I can't believe it took me this long to realize if the Sooties ever got together from a hip-hop collective, they'd be known as the Sooting Clan! <laughs> oh, that's funny! If I was on desktop, I'd pin that. Pin that. Only well, guess what? I can pin that. Bam! Did that get pinned? There it is. Okay. <laughs> I mean, old dirty really sounds like a soot sprite. <laughs> oh. A forbidden fondant. No forbidden fondant. Yeah, like I don't feel like this is quite right for a waffle. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with circles. 
and then I'll square them out a little bit with a tool and we'll make it work for our little waffle. Right? Okay, so we start with that and then not perfect, but it works. All right. Like it is recognizably a wall. <laughs> These fish waffles know they're from Temu, right? <laughs> Alright, I like it. I like it where are the Taco Cat! Bring out the trusty chalk pastels. Get some color on this waffle. Some toasty, toasty color. don't know why Nightbot isn't reporting it. I should probably add that to my homework list, too. Why is drop not being reported? Apparently everything's broken. My homework list is growing. I mean, I've got till Monday, but... Hang on, another thing broke? What? Yeah, oh yeah, ha ha, another thing. Everything breaks. It's, it's what happens. Okay, so now we need our little bit of, much like we did with our, like, was it a baked potato that we did where it had butter on it? <laughs> or it was the corn, that's what we did. Where we had our little bit of corn, our little bit of butter. Goes on the waffle. Okay. And then, and then we take some liquid sculpey. Mm, where's my liquid sculpey? We take some liquid sculpey. It's corn. And we're gonna give it. bit of brown. And so when we Put it on. Hopefully, it'll come out looking like maple syrup when it's all done.
If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> if it's black, send it back. If it's brown, drink it down. If it's black, send it back. Springfield rules of beverages, baby. Okay, so what do we have? Do we get through all nine today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. That is all of them, friends. That is from the sheer beautiful loving support from Monday. <laughs> What rhymes with orange, right? How'd we get nine? We had eight left over, and then um, Agent gifted one to Tatter today. Oh, no! It's probably okay. I think we had too much uh, the liquid anyhow. <laughs> that just kind of reduced it. All right. There we go. So that is all of them. All right, so I'm gonna take a second to clean up because I can't think with this kind of mess around me. Is anybody else like that where like their brain literally just can't process when there's too much clutter around? Like, nope, there are too many things that my brain can see and has to process. I cannot think right now. What's borange, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you for getting the waffle off the list. All right, so that's the yellow. Black tan whites blue. Totally not in the right place, but that's okay. Um you go over there, you go over there, you go over there, you go over there, you go up here. Bunch of clays for the scraps. All right. Okay. All right. Yes, they are multiplying like rabbits. Like, I don't know if I can keep up with them for much longer kind of multiplying like rabbits. Uh, <laughs> I think my brain's the opposite. Like, I need to distract my brain with a buttload of things to get it to do with what I actually want it to do. When it's about me executing things, absolutely. Like, I'll go up to my kitchen to, like, clean something or cook or whatever, and I'll just stand there for a second as my brain just, like, grinds itself as I try and focus and that's when I go right you need noise for your brain and I'll like throw on my headphones and I'll like throw like something that I've watched a bajillion times on Netflix on my tablet and I'll just listen to it while I'm doing things and it's that just a little bit of whatever that gets my brain functioning and I do that but like when it comes to what's around me clutter makes me like it's it's Clutter stresses me out, so my brain has to remove it for me, and, like, it has to filter it out, and that is, like, just too much work kind of thing, right? Um, I ate my sandwich for lunch, and I'm dying. Oh, uh, what, did it not sit well, or are you, wait, uh, we did just Jersey Mike subs today because 
is their day of giving. Oh, okay. Didn't sit well, though. Um, it's not a word. People were making fun of him for saying anything that rhymes, and people aren't trying hard enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see the adders I hear I can multiply anywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Even on log tables. It is true. It's how I feel when I try to clean my room. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need background noise to function. Like... I, I, again, I don't think I could ever go back to working in an office unless they were like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Like, you can listen to music, you can listen to a stream, you can do whatever to get yourself to focus, and whatever that is, that's what it is, right? I feel like that is definitely something that I need in my world to make my brain work. It's acid, of course. Uh, tomato, onion, lunch meat. Fair enough, yeah. Tomato is very hard on me. There have been times where I've not been able to eat tomato. So I feel that one. When I was pregnant, I craved tomato juice. Like it was the only thing resembling a craving I would have. And I wouldn't even say I craved it. It was just one of those things that when I had it, it was deeply satisfying, you know, like your body needs it. But I couldn't even let myself have it very often because it gave me such bad heartburn when I was pregnant. And even still now, if I decided I wanted some, it would probably hurt me a whole lot. So, <laughs> don't generally do that. <laughs> Alright, so, um, we've got a few minutes, but we should start thinking about who we're going to raid. There is one obvious answer, <laughs> but I'm going to look around and see what other options we've got first. <laughs> oh, what's this? Ah, uh, French, though. There's another part where clay artist, but it's French, so that is unfortunate. I'm not going to read into a French streamer. <laughs> I will watch a French streamer on mute, but I am not going to raid into a French streamer. Um... And craving in an orange. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, let's see. Let's see. All right, you know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> That's okay, I've done that many times. Um, it's no big deal, like, at all. So, I think, I think what we need to do is obvious. Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go visit Brenda. <laughs> we're gonna bring our love into Brenda. I'm sure many of you are multi-tapping for those of you who can on computers right now. So let's let's just go see Brenda. So we're gonna we're gonna drop our hold on. <laughs> Trying to use my buttons right. But that's where we're gonna go. Um all right, no, that, 
there. Okay. All right. This is what I was trying to do is drop these commands. Oh, I did that twice accidentally. Anyways, watch out, Kiki. Tatter can fling butts now. Wow! Is that who made Brenda cry? I saw Brenda crying. I did not know it was from that, but that is excellent. Yes, it is an excellent time when we're at a level 5 high train. I'd say so as well. So we are going to go and raid Art and Jest. Oh, before we go, do we want the truth or the lie? I want to see the truth. I don't know about you. We gonna, I, right? Does that sound good? Collective decision before we even are going and are ready. We want the truth. We want the truth. Yes, both are so good. I know. I think we're gonna. I want to. I feel like seeing the truth. We saw recently the both new Patreon members made her cry. Yeah, they did. That they did. All right, friends. I will see you guys soon. We're gonna go and see. Brenda and enjoy the chaos and we are um we'll be back on Monday and we really really for real are going to start on sculpture please please let me sculpt all right we're gonna go before this ad runs I love you all and I'll see you Monday take care my friends bye bye